Kirby, welcome back to my channel. So we're still on that dupe video series and today we are doing a dupe between e.l.f. Cosmetics and Milk Makeup. In this video we are seeing if the cooling water stick can go against the Prep and Hydrate Balm and also we're seeing if the Prep and Blur Stick and the Blur Stick are a good match for each other. There were so many products in the e.l.f. Cosmetics versus Milk Makeup that I actually had to break it up into two videos. So I will be releasing a second video of e.l.f. vs. makeup later in the week, but today we are trying out these products, so if you are interested to see how these go up against each other, then please keep watching. Okay guys, there were just so many dupes in these two brands that I had to split it up into two videos, and that does kind of like, ugh, irk me, but it's because they're just like, they seem like the perfect dupe. I have never tried, well, I've tried the blur stick, but I've never tried most of these products before. So it is Milk Makeup versus Elf Cosmetics. I have a wonderfully dry shampooed hair, a clean face, I did shower, I have a clean face, so we're just going to get right into this, and we're going to start by moisturizing our face with the cooling water and the prep and hydrate balm. This is kind of the packaging. Again, I didn't get the full size because your girl's on a budget. The original, mil or the original, the full size milk products, they come in like a cylindrical container. They do not come in a box or anything like this. So you're actually getting a pretty good idea of like what you'd be getting if you got full size. And this is what the uh, e.l.f. Cosmetics one comes in. So this is the outside packaging of the e.l.f. Uh, very similar coloring. The Milk Makeup has see-through packaging, so you just see the color of the product, which is blue. And the e.l.f. Cosmetics, even though it's similar in Cool Water, this is actually the color of their, like, skincare line. So it's not necessarily that they're copying Milk Makeup in that respect. It's just this is the color of their skincare line in general. Price-wise, the balm from e.l.f. Cosmetics is $8, and you're getting .51 ounces. Milk Makeup's Cooling Water Stick, it retails anywhere from $14 to $24. The little mini size is $14, the full size is $24, and the mini you get .2 ounces, and then for the full size you get 1.2 ounces. So you're getting a full ounce of product more than the mini with the full size for $24. So that is where we stand in terms of price. Now the difference right off the bat whenever you're reading about these products is that the Milk Makeup is specifically catered to just your face. It is um, infused natural seawater with caffeine and it is essentially to hydrate your face, boost your skin, depuff your eyes, get all those nasty circle, under eye circles out of there and prep your skin for actual makeup. For the e.l.f. Cosmetics, when you're reading the back of the package, it is enriched purified water uh, with shea and vitamin E to help nourish and moisturize. You can use this on your face, hands, elbow, and knees. However, I don't see why you couldn't use the Milk Makeup one all over your body as well. Um, I think since it's infused with caffeine, I think it's just more meant for your face to like perk your face up a little bit and perk your under eyes up a little bit. The e.l.f. Cosmetics one, oh it smells really good. Mm. Milk Makeup doesn't have a scent. Elf Cosmetics smells really good. So right off the bat, ingredients wise, they're a little different in terms of like purified water with shea and vitamin E and infused sea water with caffeine. So we're going to do side by side comparison. This side's going to be Milk Makeup, this side's going to be Elf Cosmetics. As I've stated before, I do have a clean face. So I'm just going to, I need some help underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna rub it. like a gel like consistency I was thinking that it was going to be come off and feel a little bit more like I have moisturizer on but it actually doesn't it doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin at all I'm going to lightly pat it in um, it doesn't feel I don't know it doesn't feel like a regular moisturizer does it doesn't feel tacky but it doesn't feel particularly slick either um, 
it has a nice refreshing feeling going on the skin. It doesn't feel like, I don't know, it just, that was very, very refreshing. So we're going to do the e.l.f. Cosmetics side. Oh, right off the bat, they have very different textures to them. This one is a lot more uh, slick. It definitely applied more product. Well, it felt like it applied more product to my face. It felt like the stick was kind of melting on my face as I was applying it with the actual heat of my face. I mean, I hate to use this word because it does sound negative, but it felt a little bit slimy. Does that make sense? Like, it does feel like I have moisturizer on this side of my skin. So now I'm just going to take these fingers and I'm just going to kind of pat it in and rub it in a little bit. It doesn't have a sticky texture. It feels a lot, it feels very similar to the Milk Makeup side. However, it, like I said, it does have a little bit more of like a slick actual moisturizer feel to it. So right off the bat, the difference is being that the e.l.f. Cosmetics uh, Prep and Hydrate Balm applied way more product. It kind of like melted as it was on my skin. And it does feel kind of heavy on my skin, like I'm actually wearing moisturizer. Versus the Milk Makeup Cool Water Stick, where like I can feel the product on my skin, but it's not heavy. It doesn't feel like dewy or greasy or slick or anything like that, or slimy. Again, that sounds like a negative word, but that's the only like word that's coming to my mind for the e.l.f. makeup side. Um, neither side feels tacky, but that's just how that goes. Um, I'm going to quickly go off camera, and I'm going to let this set a little bit, because that's what I usually do whenever I'm doing my makeup and skincare routine, is I'll do my moisturizer, and then I'll let it sit for a little bit, and then I'll come back and do my makeup. So I'm going to let this sit just for like probably like five minutes off camera, and then I'm going to do my eyebrows, and we'll come back to prime and do the rest of the skin. Okay, now that it has been a sufficient amount of time in the real world, not video world, but in the real world, and I have done my makeup so I look sufficiently crazier, it is now time to go on to prepping my skin with the actual blur sticks. So I have the Milk Makeup Original Blur Stick here, again, miniature size, and then I have the e.l.f. Prep and Blur Stick, this is the sheer coverage. These both come in an illuminating stick, which I will do in a later video out Thursday. So be on the lookout for that, but these are the ones that we are going to be reviewing today. And the e.l.f. stick is $8, the milk stick, this mini one is $14, and then the full size one is $36. So slightly more expensive than the Cool Water Stick. In the blur stick, for the mini, you are getting 0.19 ounces, and for the full size, you're only getting an ounce of product. And then for the e.l.f. Cosmetics uh, Prep and Blur Stick, you're getting 0.56 ounces, so about half. But again, you're saving way more than half, because this is only $8, and this full size is 36 so we are going to do Milk Makeup, e.l.f. Cosmetics. These are both silicone-free products. The e.l.f. Cosmetics says that it's infused with witch hazel to help absorb oil. I'm not incredibly sure about the Milk Makeup blur stick. I'm sure I could find out. Let me see. It doesn't say anything. It just says something about um, a silicone-free blur stick minimizes pores, silicone-free, uh, oil-free formula that won't clog pores. Um, matte Universal Face Filler, um, filter, not filler, <laughs> filler, again, both of these are universal. These are the colors of the sticks, pretty similar, and away we go. So as I'm putting this on and working it in, I will say I have used the Milk Makeup Blur Stick before. Um, I got it in a Sephora play box as a sample and I did like it. I liked how it actually worked on my skin. However, I didn't care for how difficult it seemed to actually get the product off of the stick and in onto my face. And maybe you don't have to do that. I'm just used to actually feeling the product on my face, whereas these milk sticks, you really don't feel it going on. It does have a pleasant scent to it. It feels a little tacky, but it feels more just kind of like like a smooth texture. Kind of like a Benefit Professional. 
if you've ever used that, that's kind of how I would describe the texture of this, if that makes sense. Okay, now we are going to... So, <laughs> what's really funny, the Milk Makeup has a really nice scent in the blur stick, but I can't smell anything in the e.l.f. Cosmetics uh, blur stick. But in the Cool Water, the e.l.f. Cosmetics one smelled better than the Milk Makeup, so that's, <laughs> that's funny. So the e.l.f. Cosmetics one actually feels a little bit thicker. It feels a little bit heavier on the skin. It did feel the same going on and applying it. The textures of both of these blur sticks felt the exact same. Um, it's just whenever patting in the product. Um, the e.l.f. stick definitely feels a lot thicker and a little bit heavier on the skin. Um, it does have the same texture and consistency as I was describing the Benefit Professional before um, because again these are like pore filling blurring sticks so you are getting kind of that same effect from both of them. Let me find my mirror and look up close and personal. So if I'm looking up close and personal since these are supposed to be like blurring sticks and pore filling sticks, both sides of my face where I have like the biggest pores right across my nose and on the tops of my cheeks, I do see that my pores do look like minimized or filled in if you will. Um, so yeah, I think we are ready to go in terms of foundation. I'm just going to use the Infallible Pro Glow because it's the one that I've been liking the most. Damp Beauty Sponge. Milk Makeup Side gives me a nice, smooth texture to my face. Still see a bump or two, but it is what it is. It's just my face. My face terrain. Elf Cosmetics is looking strikingly similar to the Milk Makeup Side. Both sides of my skin have like a nice even texture. Um, it looks fairly smooth for the most part for having as many pores as I do. I'm not disappointed with how these two products are performing against each other, or these four products are performing against each other. They're actually doing a really similar job. They've been feeling the exact same. They have been reacting with my skin the same and reacting with different products the same. I don't know. I don't really have anything bad to say about either one. It's just that the, like, how similar that they're both actually wearing on my face is actually kind of surprising because I've used a lot of e.l.f. cosmetics and I'm a big e.l.f. cosmetics fan. Uh, but sometimes a lot of their skincare and their, like, prep uh, makeup is... Really, it does not interact well with my skin, to be honest. I've had a hard, I've, I've had a hard time using a lot of their primers in the past. But this definitely is a win as far as being a dupe. Alright, I am going to go and finish the rest of my face because the foundation is the biggest part of what's going to be interacting with your primer. So I'm going to go and finish the rest of my face and come back for final thoughts. Okay guys, so final thoughts on the cooling water prep and hydrate balm and the prep and blur stick and blur stick from e.l.f. Cosmetics and Milk Cosmetics. I feel like they're exact dupes for each other. So the prep and blur stick and the blur stick from e.l.f. Cosmetics and Milk Cosmetics, they performed the exact same way. They felt the exact same on the skin. They smoothed out my pores and they both look the exact same. The e.l.f. Cosmetics didn't hold up as well as the Milk Cosmetics underneath all of my products like concealer and blending and powders and different things like that. However, for a what... how much of a savings are we looking at here? So for $28 savings for the full size, I feel like if you don't have the money to buy the $32 blur stick, you will be quite satisfied with the prep and blur stick from e.l.f. Cosmetics. They, again, they perform the exact same way. And I'm not, again, unsure of exact ingredients being dupes, however, they are exact product dupes, and again, you won't be 
unsatisfied with either of these products and how they perform. The cooling water, however, I will have to say, even though, yes, I will recommend that they are dupes for each other, and if you are on a budget, then the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm is probably the one to go with. They're a little bit different in ingredients as well as in feel on the face. They both dried down the same and they both held up the same as far as putting product on top of them. However, they felt very different in putting them on and initially they felt very different on the skin. The cooling water was not as hydrating as the Prep and Hydrate Balm. And, you know, e.l.f. Cosmetics advertises that you can use this all over your body if you have kind of like chopped, chafed areas. The cooling water is really only meant for your face because this one has a little bit of caffeine in it versus the uh, Prep and Hydrate Balm that has, what, the vitamin E and Shea. So, the e.l.f. Cosmetics, I will have to say, for me, was a little bit more hydrating than the cooling water. And again, you're looking at... You're looking at a $16 savings between these two, and so, I don't know, like, I think it's hard to say, because I think especially with these two, uh, the cooling water, it's a lot of skincare. So I think what really needs to, what you kind of need to do as the consumer is look at the skincare ingredients, because different skincare products are going to interact with your skin differently. I know just doing this dupe series with doing the friction stick and the charcoal stick and using a whole bunch of different products on my face, I have definitely suffered a lot of breakouts on my chin, my neck, my forehead, and so you really kind of just need to be diligent about checking the ingredients yourself. However, if your skin is fairly normal and it can endure a lot of different things, then I would save the $16 and try the Prep and Hydrate Balm first. However, the cooling water was, you know, just as soothing on the skin. But they are dupes for each other. The Prep and Blur and Blur Stick are like exact dupes for each other. I will link all of these products that I'm using in the description box below. Have you used any of these products? Have you used the Milk Makeup Sticks? Have you used Elf Sticks? Have you used Elf Cosmetics? Have you used Milk Makeup? Let me know all of that in the comment section below. Let me know if you even like this video. Do you like this dupe series? Again, let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big old thumbs up and always please be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell notification button because I would hate for you to miss out on any dupes. Thanks so much for watching, guys.